basically this dryer has been uh, just acting up lately. It's missing a bunch of bristles and if you look at them, they're kind of bent and it just looks old. Um, the hair, I don't know what these are called, but like they have the bristles and they have little um, kind of brush. Different, like I guess a different kind of bristle. Those ones don't look as the new one. If you can see like this one is much nicer, newer, obviously. So it was time to change my hairbrush. So you're probably gonna see a lot of videos of me just testing out different ones because um, there were a lot of reasons why I wanted to kind of get rid of the Revlon and I'm in search of something that's a little bit he healthier for my hair. Um, so, so far, the price difference, I think it's uh, the biggest difference between these two because this one is about $80, I believe, and this one you can get on sale for like $45, $50. Bucks. They're both on Amazon way cheaper than they are on Ulta or anything other than that. So if you are going to get either of them, I would suggest just going to Amazon first. Um, as far as size, they're definitely the same. Uh, the only thing different about the packaging of these and how they look is the logos so because this one's a Revlon and this one's a Hot Tools. And obviously this one has like the 24K gold uh, plate, which I believe they say is supposed to help with frizz and just the overall look of your hair to make it more sleek. But the bristles are the same. The top bar is the same. Um, even the buttons on the back, I don't know if this is focusing, but the buttons on the back is exactly the same. I have three options. They have cool, low, and high. I usually just use the low just because I believe it's just like really hot for my hair. I even see like, I don't know, every time I use it, I feel like it's just like frying my hair and I experience a lot of breakage and a lot of hair damage from it. And I just like, I'm ready for something different. So hopefully this one can be something that I can see a difference on. And I feel like I'm talking too much. So I'm just going to go right ahead and use the hair dryers. So I something else I wanted to mention is that the cords are exactly the same. I believe I heard someone say that the manufacturers are in the same place or like they're manufactured by the same um, company or owned by some company, I guess. Um, but that doesn't mean that because you're paying more, the quality should be the same in my opinion, so. My hair, it's like almost dry as you can see and that's how I like to do my hair. Okay, so I'm gonna use this one on the low setting as well, just because, like I said, I don't like to put a lot of heat on my hair. I have curly um, hair, but because I've been using just a blow dryer for so long, it's just wavy at this point, and I feel like the curls have died um, and have like straightened out too much. And the other thing I was gonna say that I don't like about the Revlon is that it's just too hot, and having it so close to my, to my face is just a little bit annoying, but let's see how this one works out. I don't usually style my hair like right in the center, so I'm just like a little afraid of what's, how it's gonna look like at the end <laughs> because it's just not, I usually like, I don't know. I usually go in two sections on the sides and then one section in the center and I feel like I really like the look of that. It is just as loud. So um, as far as feel on the hair, it feels very similar to the Revlon. I do feel that like it's gripping my hair a little bit better, but that may be because it's a new product. Honestly, they feel the same. The, um, the thing I don't like about the Revlon is that it kind of pulls my hair as like, yeah, I can feel it pulling and I get the same result with this one. Um, it does make it really straight and sleek which I mean the hair looks nice and I feel like I can dry my hair in much less time than if I went with lower heat or a different kind of product. But I am the kind of person like I would rather spend a little bit more time than, you know, fry my hair, honestly. So I'm gonna go on this side now and see how the Breblon performs. 
in comparison. I think, honestly, this is, like, the same product with different packaging. And it's, like, kind of disappointing because I paid 80 bucks for it. <laughs> Honestly, the Revlon one feels a little bit softer. I'm not gonna lie. And, oh, the other thing I wanted to say, um, I think I'm gonna have the same problem with these because when I, you have curly hair, you have to really get close to the root to make sure that it is straight when you're obviously straightening your hair. And this is very hard to like get close to your scalp without either burning or having that heat right on your ear. Um, and the other thing is that it gives a smell of like, I don't know, it just smells like burnt. And I guess I'm getting like a smell from this side too, but it might be just like the fact that I'm using a new hair tool and it hasn't been like, you know, used in a while, I guess. So it smells like a little bit like plastic, but um, I just don't like that. And I wear and I use a lot of products on my hair to make it smell good. And I just don't want it to smell like burn, but yeah. So I'm gonna move this back. <laughs> I can definitely run through my hands way easier on the Revlon side. I don't know what it is about it. Like, I just feel like it's a little streaky on this side. It's not like as smooth and um, straight as a Revlon would leave it. And honestly, I like a little bit of a wave, but like if I'm straightening my hair, I want it to look straight. And if I rather do a wave, then I want to be able to like, um, you know, move the brush and like kind of do a little curl at the end. But like, I don't know. I don't know. Um, the other thing I was gonna say is that I find it really easy with this kind of blow dryers to kind of go under and get under, spend like a little bit of two seconds there and then go down. And then once I have everything dry, kind of go in and go this way down to be able to straighten it. Um, if you have like, you know, my type of hair, I feel like that's the easiest way. And honestly, the reason I'm doing this video is because I don't see many people with my type of hair doing this kind of reviews. And a lot of people I think are either scared of using a hairbrush like this, or they just don't think that it would work for the hair. And I think they do. Okay, this one's getting a little bit frizzy on the bottom. I definitely can go over it once all the hair is dry or even after I dry another section. Um, but I am feeling like the Revlon, it's a little, just a tad hotter than the Hot Tools. Um, I don't know if that's to be true, but I do feel like it's just a little bit hotter. On both sides though, I do consider them really hot for what I'm comfortable with. And I do feel my ear just getting a little bit red. Um, or I see it, I just say. It's getting a little bit red from just using it. But we're almost at the end and I feel like if you saw like how long my hair is and how much hair I have, um, you would consider this to be a very fast uh, blowout, I would say. So I've been recording for about 23 minutes and I've been talking a lot too. So I would consider that to be pretty fast in my opinion. The other thing is that when you have 
uh, my texture hair like this. I would definitely recommend just um, going in when your hair is like 90% to 80% to 90% just dry. The good thing about these brushes when they are this big is that I don't feel like I always have to pull my hair with my hand and then go over with it. I can just like go in with the actual brush and pull some hair, which I think is really nice. But at the same time, it's just so big, big and bulky and it's like really heavy. So that is a con, but I do feel like it does turn out really pretty just now it kind of got stuck my hair kind of got stuck on the top right there and it really hurt it like pulled so i like let go of it i was trying to take it out but um i do feel like both sides are looking really similar the only like noticeable thing that i'm seeing is that this side just feels a lot more smooth when i touch it that also could be like if this hair dryer is much warmer than this one when I touch this one, it does feel like it's very hot. This one doesn't feel hot at all. So I don't know if there's something different on the grip or the actual like heat levels of both. So that could be a difference because this one actually feels like hot to the touch. So whereas this one doesn't feel like I'd be used at all. So I don't know. Um, the other thing is that you can take a lot of hair with this brushes and that's actually really nice. But like I said, I don't mind taking a little bit longer with my hair if it means that it overall and like in the long run is going to be a little bit healthier. So things that I don't like is that, you know, my hair doesn't look as shiny on this side. And I do have some little curls right here that never kind of go away. But on this side, they kind of look very weird. They look like I just, I don't know. I just don't like how this hair dryer makes my hair feel. I just, uh, I'm so skeptical about it. I have to like plug one in, plug the other one back in. <laughs> Okay, so I tried and tried and tried to style it and it's just not going the way I want to. I usually do like a little curl at the end of this front part right here. I think it looks okay. Um, I just think my hair doesn't look shiny or, or pretty honestly. And I have like weird patterns here, but it might be just because I'm parting my hair in the center and blow down it that way. And I usually don't do that. I kind of go with like this section here and go upwards and then throw it back. But, um, let's finish up this side and see which side looks better. Cause I think they both have their issues. <laughs> This, it's all of it. I think it's okay. Um, not in love with either side, honestly. I think I give kudos to the people that do these kind of videos because blowing your hair right in the center, it's just not natural. It's something that I wouldn't do if I wasn't like filming this video. And I just think that there's some areas that look puffy and feel puffy because like this part right here, because I didn't really go down. Oh, it's snowing. 
It's so pretty. Um, because I didn't just gotta go down right the middle as it would as I would have. Normally I would park my hair kind of like here and do like a center down kind of thing, layered obviously, but like center down and then same thing up here, like all the way back. So um, if I had to pick a side, I do think that there's like a little curl coming out here on the Revlon side that just kind of like wasn't going away. But at the same time, there is just kind of like this pattern, this texture here that is not from a curl on this side. And I just feel like this one feels a lot more puffy. It was a little bit harder for me to kind of make it go where I wanted. It just feels like a little less smooth to the touch. Both sides feel really good. This one just feels a lot smoother. But I'm just gonna tell you exactly what my thoughts are. I don't think this is gonna be a video where I say one is better than the other. I think I'm gonna give you the information and you do with that what you will. So um, obviously one is more expensive than the other. They both have the same kind of packaging. As far as differences, uh, like I mentioned, one gets really hot like this one. It's still really hot, super hot to the touch. This one isn't at all like if I hadn't used it whatsoever. I've never gotten my hair stuck to the top of this but I did get my hair stuck to the top of this and that really hurt um but I do feel like my hair breaks a lot with this one I do feel like I don't know it's just like you can tell that it's full of hair they both are actually and the hair gets stuck on this area right here which is something that I really have to clean up um right after um as far as bristles I feel like the bristles on the hot tool one just feel a little bit better um they don't feel like as damaging, but it does feel like with both of them, I can get a lot of, you know, a very big section of hair and um, smooth it out very easily. The other thing I was gonna say is that if you are gonna use either of these, they're very hot tools. So definitely use a heat protectant and definitely um, go with a brush and go over your hair to make sure that you don't have any knots before you go with the, um, the actual hairbrush because it is going to pull if you have any kind of knot on your hair and it is gonna hurt. So I wouldn't recommend using this like as a brush to thinking that this is just gonna like, you know, separate your hair and make it really smooth. I would definitely just do that in the shower. Use a very good conditioner, maybe a mask, do that in the shower. And when you come out, kind of dry your hair a little bit and then go again with another brush before going in with the, um, either of them, the hair dryers. So um, I do like how they look. I just don't feel like my hair looks as healthy as I would want, want it to look. And I do feel like as soon as I step outside, my hair might get frizzy. If you live in an area where it's very humid, um, this is not gonna hold on you unless you use the, either the hot setting or you go in with a flat iron right after. But I don't like to flat iron my hair often I honestly do it like maybe once every six months and that's like a lot um, just because like I said I don't like to put a lot of heat on my hair but um, honestly I don't like wearing it curly because it's just a lot of work so I do blow dry my hair every week so I don't know this is not the best blowout I've ever gotten and this side is kind of like disappointing if I were to say one side that I like the most I would probably pick the Revlon one which is disappointing didn't notice anything with a gold plated speck of this one. Um, it didn't really make it like much smoother and you can see how it's like curling already because that's what my hair does. But I will say that sometimes when you're using these tools, you accidentally touch this part right here and touching this one after having used it, um, I wouldn't even dare to touch the Revlon one because it would probably just burn my finger and this one is just cool to the touch. So. There must be some kind of technology in there or um, some kind of protection as far as how hot the actual tool gets. And I would say in that sense, they are definitely different. But other than that, I didn't really notice anything with how it performed. Um, I'm just gonna turn around, let you guys see the back. I don't know how bad it is, honestly, because like I said, I always go down, I think. And my hair is really long, so. I'll show you the bottom, show you this side. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I like any of them, honestly. I used to swear by the Revlon, but I just, like I said, after a lot of split ends, a lot of breakage in my hair, and even like seeing my hair just fall off, I don't think I like it anymore. So I think I'm gonna be trying a lot more tools. Maybe 
even the T3 Micro uh, hairbrush because I've been eyeing that one. So maybe look out for another video. And for the people that do follow me for camera equipment and stuff, I will upload more of those videos, but I am definitely on a little phase right now where I just wanna do my makeup again and <laughs> wanna do the beauty videos that I used to do. So maybe those will come in the future. Maybe I'll mix them up. But for now, I am just on the search of a hair tool, so. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you don't follow me, please subscribe below and like this video. And don't forget to follow me on social media as well. Thank you so much. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.